Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Shameless plug. He was watching our new video. I was just watching the new <laughs> vlog. It's <laughs> up. It's true. Um, so, <laughs> we are looking all fancy because we are going out on a little date night in downtown. Date night downtown. Um, what's bittersweet about this is we are going to go to Founders tonight. Um, that's pretty much all that we are doing. And um, potentially it's the last time we go to Founders um, before we move up north. It's just crazy to think about. Probably will be the last time we go to Founders before we move. We move in, in potentially like nine days. Today is the 19th and our U-Haul is booked days. for the 28th. So. so um, I still remember going to Founders for the first time and it was like, it was our first brewery we went to. What are you doing? So it was the first brewery we went to and it was like really folky. It's not what I expected I guess and it made us fall in love with not only the city but also going to breweries. Um, it's totally different than it used to be I think in a lot of ways but I mean, they've expanded. There's like a big, huge warehouse now. They have so many more brews than they did before. Everybody and, and their sister goes to their founders if they come to Grand Rapids. I'm trying to get a shot where we can just talk. Um, I think Founders has become kind of iconic to not only Grand Rapids, but Michigan. Um, and it's one of those things where if you say, oh, I'm from Grand Rapids, and everybody goes, oh, Founders. You know, when we were in Florida recently, we were... Yeah walking down and we saw a tap room with a giant outdoor umbrella that said uh, Founders on it. And I thought it was it was funny in the moment that we saw Founders way down there because Founders literally started out to be a brewery uh, for the people of Grand Rapids. It was kind of a local thing and it's so much more now. They've got a barrel house now. They've got, I mean, they're, they're well, international Yeah, and that's a big thing. And yeah, and that was a big thing that I, like, you wouldn't think about it if you're someone who doesn't live in Grand Rapids, but a lot of people, like specifically my colleagues and people I, you know, work with and I know are really pissed that Founders decided to ship internationally. Um, I mean, a lot of you out there who don't live in Michigan and don't have access to Founders knowing how popularized it is, even if you're just a beer snob on Instagram, you see Founders everywhere, right? And you're like, oh, I really would like to be able to have access to that. Founders did just that. They've expanded their company and now it's kind of a household name in a lot of ways for craft beer. Um, so people in Grand Rapids were floored about that, really pissed, not happy about it at all because their whole lo logo is for us. So the idea of craft beer, just like the idea of like indie films or indie artists, is that it's something special to that area. It's local. It's something you can only get when you're there. It makes you think of home. It makes where you live special. It makes where you live special when you move away from it. Like you, you want to go back to be around the things you can only get at home. So when they become something anyone can get at home, they're not special anymore. So that's what pissed people off. Yeah, and, and likewise, you know, I, I grew up in the Battle Creek, Kalamazoo area. So for me, Bells has been that since I've been an adult. Um, maybe even a little before I was an adult. But we're not going to talk about that. We can talk about it. And we can talk about it. But anyway, <laughs> Bell's has always been that for me. But for me, since I don't live in the Kalamazoo, Battle Creek area anymore, I'm thankful to be able to grab a Bell's anywhere, in just Michigan. about anywhere yeah. in Michigan. Uh, and I think, you know, the people who live in Grand Rapids and plant roots here, they're not necessarily no, I mean, looking Grand forward to, to that kind of feeling. They weren't upset about Grand Rapids having founders access all throughout Michigan. It was more upset that it's international. That you can literally grab a founders beer in China. And I like I like the fact that you can. I'm I'm both sides. I, I like the physical fact that I can, but mentally it bothers me because I like that it's just special and it's just at home. Just like certain restaurants. Like I'm really big on not going to chain restaurants. Same basic idea. Um, you can go to a chain restaurant anywhere. There's comfort in that, right? So like you're like, oh, I know that I can get a good steak at Outback or you know I don't know any of these places. I'm traveling. It's really nice that I can go somewhere I know. So there's that's nice except for I like that we have a special place that he and I go for dates like Four Roses Cafe. That's our place. That's the whole point. See like it's our place. If it was everywhere, 
really wouldn't be special anymore, and it would be in the list of things that are like, oh, that's just a chain restaurant everyone goes to, and yeah, there's I, mixed reviews. The cookie and, cutter yeah. aspect of it, so I definitely that understand. that portion of it I don't like, but I like the convenience of it being other places. Yeah. So. But when we travel, I hate that I can't find local beer from that place, but I can find stuff from Michigan. You're right. That, that, that annoyed the a, shit out of me in, in um, Kentucky. Huge issue. Well, we went to a dry county, too, so there's not like... We went outside of the dry county. But I still couldn't find anything. <laughs> we did. We looked for local Kentucky brews at a Kroger, yeah. nonetheless, and there wasn't really anything. I don't know if the craft brew thing is caught on as much down there. No, and then there are signs that even say Kentucky craft beer is the best kind, but then I'm like, okay, well, where is it? Maybe Kentucky craft beer is moonshine. Maybe that's what it is. Well, we need to tell us that. Well, we would have bought some of that. Well, anyway, that was a really, really long intro, but we are going to Founders. Finally, after being in Grand Rapids for a long time, four years, we're vlogging about Founders. Yeah, we've never vlogged Founders, so, so we've been, we honestly, we don't go downtown that often, so we haven't been like a crazy amount of times, <laughs> but we go like two times a year, and we've been here for three years, it's been six times. Yeah, and we'll, we'll pick the outskirts breweries and stuff There's like so that. There's so many to go to, though. Like, tomorrow, Art Prize starts, um, so hopefully it's not ridiculously crazy downtown. Which yeah. is generally the reason, because we I, I, I love our downtown yeah. in Grand Rapids, but it sucks. You can't find parking, you can't, and forget it. So, yeah. um, and from from being in Detroit and going down Detroit, you worried about your car being there necessarily when you got back from parking somewhere. But here, True. but here, there's nowhere to park, so you're worried about. Like, oh, no one stole my car. I just. I'm don't still make, in it. I'm still in it. <laughs> okay, so we're not going straight to Founders. We are gonna do some window shopping and walking around looking at home decor and looking at home stuff and fall right stuff. You just distracted my clip for no reason. That's creepy. But anyway, so we are at World Market. One of my favorite stores and I'm so excited and I'm not gonna bring the camera in with me because I'm not at a point where I like I'm used to people looking at me weird. There's not a lot of vloggers in Michigan, so it's not normalized. But we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, so we're parked in the parking lot by Founders, which when we first moved here didn't exist. Just didn't exist. No, it was a big dirt road. It was kind of cool. Um, this giant building here and the buildings leading up to that didn't exist when we first started coming to Founders either. Um, but it's all kind of new addition. They had those stack things right there, but they didn't have like that cube and this L-shaped building. Holds it up vlog style. At us. At us. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. That's really different. So it's it's two dollars every half hour, but then if you if you show founders your parking receipt then you get it free first well, they hours? give you a coupon for parking for five hours so it's free oh okay so if you're here longer than five hours number one you're drunk no and number, two, <laughs> and number two you have to pay parking so that's it yeah all right we're going in we got the beer what'd you get i got Dirty beef. And you can say bastard. All right, dirty bastard. Okay. I've been waiting to say that. Okay. Yeah, dirty bastard. If you look at the colors, though, it's a little bit different than our normal normal fare. Yeah, usually it's a light one for Dana and a dark one for me. Correct. Actually, the truth is, I thought it was a light one. <laughs> Because I forgot. It's a red ale. It's, it's been a long it's time. An amber. It's an amber. It's pretty good. Yeah. I got the nitro oatmeal stout, which you can tell. Because, like, look at how beautiful that crisp line is. They don't have breakfast out on the menu, so we'll see if I'm able to order that because that's my favorite. And I was already thinking about ways to hug my beer without spilling it on me. Just thinking about drinking breakfast out. I'm bummed. Okay, so the debate right now is that this tiny little green guy, you see him? He's a hop. I don't 
think it is. I think that they put vines here, which is really beautiful. Um, to kind of add to the hop vibe. I don't think they're actually hot. They're hot. Hops grow very easily. And they grow uncontrollably when they start growing. I don't People think. who have hops vines will tell you this is the way they grow. Mosaic promise. That's strong. It's a lot smoother than I thought it would be. You like it? Not like, not terribly. Oh. Like I wouldn't order another one. Oh. But it's smoother than I. It smells. Okay. Like it smells really citrusy and hot. Filled. Um, but. It doesn't taste quite as, as, as bad as that. It's kind of a... Uh, I have hiccup. Damn it. Yes, you do. Damn it. Every time you take a picture, the camera's going to shake. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so I ordered Lizard of Cos, which is... What's it called? Lizard of Cos. Cos. Lizard of Cos. Yeah, so it's stout with blueberries, chocolate, vanilla aged in... I did try it. So it smells like chocolate and vanilla and blueberries. Like it reminds me of that like candy. It's like the dehydrated blueberries that are dipped in chocolate. Yes. They're actually really delicious. They're great for baking. They are like high in fiber, yeah. high in fiber, whatever. So it kind of reminds me of that. But then take that and mix it with like a very bitter flavor. Like too many flavors. Like the flavors that are in here are so pungent and so dominant that it's like it hits you all at once as opposed to like subtly opening up on your palate. It's like bam, blueberry chocolate, vanilla, barrel aged. Come at me, bro. Like that. Come at me, bro. So take a sip of it. Let's see your reaction. Would you say that's not a win? It's not a win. What did Warner make it? Yeah. Okay. We are leaving Founders. We got three rounds worth of beer. Can you see us? I don't know if they can see us or not. We got three rounds of beer. We're gonna go get dinner, and then we are spontaneously choosing to go to the movies. We're either seeing Dunkirk or Planet of the Apes. We don't know. Depends what time we get to the theater, I guess. So that's very exciting, and I'm really pumped. And that's it, right? That's it. It's all that's really happening. Yeah. So thank you for coming along on our date night and being our third wheel. And please make sure that you check the description box, hit the subscribe button, and like this video. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Thank you and cheers. Cheers. I cheers to her.